Hi. Okay. I actually don't know how to do this, I think. <laughs> um, so where do the questions come in? Swipe left to reveal comments. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to go on my, <laughs> my computer because I've never done this. Um, this is really embarrassing. I hope nobody's asking any questions right this second because I don't know how to answer them. Okay, I'm going on my Facebook page. Swipe left. This is video only mode. Swipe left to reveal comments. Uh, this is this is really tragic. Whatever's happening. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay, I see questions. Okay, I see questions. Um, what's next for your character? Well, we are going to shoot episode 414 uh, starting today. Actually, we started today, but I was late because my flight was delayed from Paris. And um, I think something's in store for Berzik that will make some people very happy. I'm happy. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Um, how did you get started? Franco Pinac. Binaccio. I don't get started on what acting. Um, I got started. I did ballet for many years um, at the School of American Ballet in New York. I was in the Nutcracker. I don't know if you see me. I was a, a soldier in the Nutcracker movie with Macaulay Culkin. I know it was my like big claim to fame. So it's huge. Um, and then I realized that I really wanted to perform and speak. So <laughs> thus I got into acting and I did a, a musical in high school called Bye Bye Birdie. It was my first musical. Okay. Can't someone, oh, Lisa Whelan, can't wait for tonight's show watching in Newfoundland, Canada. I've only been to Nova Scotia. I really want to go to Canada. Um, hola. Um, hockey. Oh God, it's going so fast. Okay. Everyone slow down. I can't get the names. Lisa Hahn, what is your favorite cast member to hang out with outside of the show? Oh, I can't, mm -mm. girl, I can't choose. I love them all equally. Um, you know, every, every, we all like hang out together, so it's impossible, and everyone fills in such a different role, so. Um, although LaRoyce is, is really a comedian, so he's really fun to have there. And I don't know, Soph and Patty and Jesse and everyone's just wonderful. And um, I wouldn't want to be without them. Okay, uh, Fergus O'Rourke, which episodes are the, are the best to film, crossovers or regular episodes? I think that crossovers are really fun because you get to like go to a different set, but your storyline isn't as big generally, so it's not as challenging as an actor, but it's just more fun because you get to like, like when I go to fire, I get to hang out with Monica and Kara, and that's really fun, but you know, it's nice to have meaty stuff as an actor, but don't tell Dick that. Um, any hints, okay, Michael Kress, any hints on what's this, what's this season involves. Well, I just gave a hint about the episode that I'm filming, 414. Um, Mary Weber Blair. Oh, man, I can't. It's too, it's too quick. Uh, okay, sorry. Zachary, how do I... What is your favorite... My 10-year-old son loves the show anyway to get an autograph pic, and that's from Cassandra Marie. Okay, I got one out before it scrolled down. Cassandra Marie, um, you can send it to Cinespace, and sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. To be honest, if I get the picture, I will absolutely um, photograph it, um, sign the photograph, and send it back. So, so look up Cinespace, because I don't know the address off the top of my head. Okay, Kyle Real. Hi, Kim Burgess. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Nothing else. That's all? That's all? Okay, that's good. Um, Angela Collins loves my work on CPD as well as everything else. Okay, that was too fast. Michael Carter, I think that was the name of my ex-boyfriend. I really hope that wasn't him. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, so I paused The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to do this, and it just came on. So <laughs> if you hear that in the background, don't tell anyone I was watching that. Uh, Keen West says, Marmar. Um, Nikki Lee, absolutely love you on CPD. I'm excited to see you in Intelligence. Thank you. Dawn, love you on the show. Can't wait to have it back in Ireland. Um, can you please shout it out? It's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Feliz Navidad. No, that's Christmas. Feliz, feliz cumpleaños. There we go. Um, this is one of the, um, Caleb Wong. Is there any hope for Burgess and Rusick getting back together? I'm saying nothing. Um... Sam Barrett, hi from Australia. I love 
uh, the show. Hopefully, get to see more of you in Burza at Ruzik. Maybe. Um, hello from Las Vegas. That was um, Katina Newton. I'm glad the show's back on. Miss it. I miss it too. I mean, it was a nice time of vacation. I'm not gonna lie. I was in Paris and I ate way too much cheese, so it's probably good that I'm back. Um, I don't think I can eat cheese for like at least three months. That's like it's just too much. But it was really fun. Um, okay. Someone, Antonio, um, Quinones, can I get a shout out? Love the show. Shout out. Is that good? I hope so. Okay. Um, Sonia Baxley, will you be venturing out to movies, etc.? Love from Denver. So it's really hard to do movies. I thought, um, I didn't know that when I first started television. I thought, be like, oh, you do TV and movies, it'll be fine. Um, I did, I've done a movie each each uh, hiatus, which is great. The last one I did, Sophia Bush was actually in too. Uh, so that's really exciting. It's called Marshall. It'll be out next year. And I got to wear 1940s clothing, which was great. It was really very different. You know, very different from being a Chicago PD police officer. Okay. Jay Olufem. What's up, Marina? Can't wait to see you back in action with your bad self. Hashtag purchase to the rescue. That's right. That's going to be trending soon. Purchase to the rescue. Um, Mike Reese. Me and my, love, my sh wife love the show. Keep up the good work. Um, love the cross. Oh, ah, congrats on being intelligence. Love you and your show. That was Eric Cantor. Thank you so... Oh, Kaitner. Um, okay. So, this is, this is really hard, okay? <laughs> I feel like actors, they're people too. Technology is difficult. Um, would it be great... Someone said... Okay, Denise Hendrickson said it would be great if you did a crossover with Blue Bloods. Totally. I have been in Blue Bloods. So that would be a little awkward. I had a black eye. Um, I think I was, it was kind of like a, based on a Tyra Banks thing. It was like a, a model threw something at me. I don't remember. You know, you do a lot of shows when you're trying to, you know, as an actor. So I, I think that was my uh, Blue Bloods. But sure, if they'll have me back, that'd be great. Let's see. Um, Ed Small, you're so beautiful, Marina. I just, I just wanted to read that out loud, especially because I just got off a flight. Um, they're giving, um, are they giving you another partner in Chicago PD? Probably not, Ed. I don't think you saw the last episode because I am now in intelligence, but I forgive you because you said I was pretty. Um, but now I'm intelligence, so... Oh, yeah, I guess we, maybe you're right. I do get a partner, and that partner doesn't really like me on the show. In real life, they, that person really likes me. Um... Let's okay. What else? Let's see. Uh oh, I've I I lost how to give the comments. Got the comments. I'm, I'm coming back. I swear. Um, I promise you next time I'll know how to do this a little bit better. Also, Sophia's like the social media queen. She's the one that I need to be like. She's the one who tells me how to do everything. Okay. Hi, Marina. This is Michelle. Um, my 13 year old daughter and I watch a show every week. Can you please um, say hello? Was that it? Say hello to her name. My name is Kaylee. Was it Kaylee? I missed it. Um, hi. Okay. Look forward to seeing you until. Oh my gosh. Hubby. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I should just sing and dance. Um. I. So okay. I'll tell you a little story while I figure out how to do this. Um. Sean Seltzer just said I was smoking hot. Those. Somehow I managed to find those comments. <laughs> Morgan Lee. Ask what's next for my character. Well, she's in intelligence now, so it's kind of like a whole new deal, right? Everyone's been wanting her to get up to intelligence since the beginning, and now she's there. So I wonder what you think. I think that she's going to make some mistakes in the beginning, and um, I guess I hope you'll uh, forgive her because she's trying her best. There's someone who just gave me... Uh, okay. Um... Let's see. Oh, okay. Melanie says she lo um, Griu says she loves the show. She's from Montreal, Quebec. Her mother tongue is, tongue is French, and I learn English with the show. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Um, I hope uh, I'm really proud. I need to learn French. That was actually my resolution. I had three resolutions. One was don't interrupt people. Uh, the other one was take a watercolor class, which is maybe dorky, but... 
I want to do it. And then uh, take French again. I took it in high school and I'd forgotten everything. As I was like, fromage, and that was all I could say. Um, so, okay, what else? Okay, so yeah, so I was late to set today, which has never happened in my life because American Airlines canceled my flight. But everyone was really nice, and I got to see uh, Soph and Jesse and LaRoyce, and it was lovely because I missed them. I missed them a lot. We all needed a break, let me tell you. It's 10-month grueling months, but it was, um, it was really fun to see them. Okay, I think I've – someone said – okay, here's some more comments. I got it. Um – Oh my God, can't wait to watch you tonight, Kaylee Clifton. Thank you. Hanging with the big guys permanently. Let's hope so. I'm a little nervous. You know you know when you get to a new job and you're not like doing your best? I don't want to get fired. So <laughs> I think Burgess is a little worried in the beginning. She knows she's good at her job, but, you know, there's a lot to learn. She's like, it's a new crowd. It's a new group to hang with. Um... Rico, hey there, Lopez, I love you, marry me. Okay, shouldn't have read that one. Mm -mm. Oh, well, oops, hey, uh, sorry. Don't know you. It's not my thing to marry people on the internet. Uh, Mary uh, Weber Blair says, as a former police officer, I love seeing shows that have strong uh, female cops. That's so nice. Thank you. Um, what I like about Burgess is that she's also, she's tough, but she also hasn't lost her soft side, which I think is um, it's nice to see. It's not like she's just like this steely, um, impenetrable like, cop, but she's kind of nice and dorky. I don't know anyone like that. Um, uh, Mitzka's gonna be, Mitzka, uh, Gray is gonna be glued to her, the TV tonight and tomorrow, please, because that's when Petey's on. Just a little hint. Um, okay. Uh, Samantha Barrett, do you think some of you guys are gonna get to visit Australia? Are we invited? <laughs> um, if I'm invited, I'll come. I, I think uh, I'm going to try and come. I've been to Fiji, which I know is not Australia, but it was um, made me want to go to Australia and New Zealand. But um, invite me. I'll come. Uh, Dana Kedzatli. I love you on the show. If you didn't get Burgess' role, who else would you like to have played? Ooh. Um... I mean, Voight. <laughs> I think I'd play a good Voight. Be a little different take, a little higher with the vocal register, but it'd be okay. Um, Antonio says, um, Ginoe says Burgess will be kicking ass and taking names. That is correct. She, she will be. I'm glad you know that about her. Um, so someone, um, Candace Hunter said, yes, come to Australia. We love the whole family. So I am invited. I can't wait. I hope this is like an Airbnb because they don't have a place to stay. Um, uh, okay. There's a lot of love coming. I don't see a lot of questions, but I love the love. But more que let, let, let's get some questions. So um, also, I have nothing in my house. So I'm literally eating life cereal from the box. So in case people are like, oh, actors are really healthy. They don't. They don't, they only eat vegetables. Nope. Although I am drinking water with it because I don't have milk because I've not been in my house for three weeks. It's really, it's just, you know, it's like um, dire straits here. I have to get a takeout order when this is done. Uh, Michael Carter, uh, you'll be working more with Elias. Happy about that. Uh, I think you gave it away, who my new partner is, so good job. I am. I think... Um, Elias is a soul, like, I'm not uh, a really hippy-dippy type, but Elias has this, like, amazing soul that you don't meet uh, a lot of people like that. And he's so giving and so kind that it it's great to work with as an actor, and I'm learning a lot from him, too. He has a really beautiful approach to working and a work ethic, and um, he and I share that. So it's really great. He's really nice. Um, as an actor, as a character, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. I'm not, you know what? I've said too much. I've got to like burn. Eric and Derek Haas is going to find me and like kill me. Uh, Sharon Leroy, do you actually um, do you have actual law enforcement 
consulting you guys. Yes, we have Brian Luch, which I'm sure all the big fans know this, but he's a real cop, and he tells us when we're doing things right and we're doing things wrong. Actually, Burgess was just in the in, um, interrogation room for the first time, and Luch uh, sent me to a couple other cops that had, who, who mostly do interrogations. And it was really interesting what they were telling me about trying to get you know, them to be uh, see you as a friend and see you as someone who they can trust. And so in that scene, you'll see me, um, I sit on the same side as uh, the, the young woman that I'm in the, in the interrogation with because I'm trying to sympathize with her and get her to sympathize with me and get her to see me as a friend. So just small choices as actors um, that help you make a scene more interesting and help you make it more realistic. So I don't know if that's interesting, but I found it interesting. Um, okay. Oh, I like this. Kareen Rebecca Hamry. How will Burgess, you know, the question just left, but I think it was like, how is Burgess going to handle Voight's less than like stellar sort of like above the law tactics? I think that she will have a little bit of a hard time. I don't know if you're going to see that, but it's, um, so far it hasn't really come up. Mostly, um, the one who really challenges Voight is Jesse's character, Halstead. But I think that Burgess is, if she sees anything really unethical, I think that she would have a hard time with it. There was a one time when she went undercover as a hooker in the first um, season. It was during the polar vortex. It was negative 30 degrees, and I was in a tube top. But, you know, who cares? And uh, uh, she saw Voight put someone's hand in a, like a garbage disposal, and it was horrifying for her. And so... I think that if there's something like that comes up again, it might be, it might be an issue. Okay. Do you take any, Rachel Maxwell, do you take any influences from people you meet or know or apply to your character? Much love from NZ, New Zealand? <laughs> always, always welcome, mate. Okay. I'm really excited about my um, down under invites. I, I do, mostly when I'm just starting out a character. At this point, um, I kind of know Burgess a little bit, so I wouldn't really do character studies, like weirdly follow people around <laughs> to try and imitate their walk. And uh, But there, here's a funny thing. When I first auditioned for Kim Burgess, I came in like this, with an accent, like, don't you, don't you mess with me because I'm, I'm gonna take your face off. Like, I was like, Used a really thick New York accent. Um, I don't know why I did that for a Chicago character, but I got the role. So if anything tells you to take risks, risks, it's that audition. I was like, listen, I, I don't, I don't even know what I was doing, but I got it. So yay. Um, Susie Marie Carlos will be watching tonight. I think I got your last name wrong. I apologize. Um, okay, okay. Bobby Raz. Razakwi welcomes me to Schaumburg, Illinois. I appreciate it. I'm currently going in a few weekends to Naperville because my cousin Catherine Grace is getting confirmed. So um, I may not be able to make it to Schaumburg. I apologize. Okay. Um, Melanie Huber, do you like the relationship that Burgess is building with Lindsay? I do. I love hanging out with Soph, and it's really nice. And she just told me that she was also talking to... Um, uh, the people who write the show and being like, we need more Linstead. So we're working for you guys. Don't worry. It's fun. And also we're both sort of going through guy stuff. And I think that that's important. Like, you know, I don't want to always, I think it's important that we're not always talking about guys, you know, we're women and it's not all that we do. And I think it's important to show that women speak about other things, but I think it's, um, good that we, you know, also have like some conversations about guys. Cause I know I do talk to my girlfriends about boys. Okay, Matthew Cowley, do you ever tease Elias about playing Casey Jones in the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie? Yes. The, uh, last season, we went to go see it all together, and it was really fun. I think Elias was really embarrassed. He's really shy, but um, we, he used a bat a couple episodes ago, and I think we were, he uses a bat as Casey Jones, and I think we were definitely making fun of him. Okay. Um... Pam Solomon, do you enjoy friction with Platt? Do I? Uh-huh. I love it. Best friend of me a girl could ever ask for. Um, okay. <laughs> I really need someone from out there to come here and show me how to do this. 
Oh, somebody's um, Janie Itorolad. Oh my God, I'm sorry I butchered your last name. Saw me at Starved Rock, and they took pictures with me. Hi again. <laughs> yes, I took. Uh, I went to Starved Rock on my weekend off. It's um, a state park in Illinois. It was really nice. I really like walking. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, the Lee Gonzalez. How do you keep your skin looking so lovely? I'm laughing because Lee is my best friend and also so supportive. <laughs> Hi, Lee. <laughs> How do I keep my skin looking so lovely? Um, I uh, use SkinCeuticals, which I really like, and it's really um, nice. <laughs> And um, I try, and I use Cetaphil, which is like a drugstore you can buy for nine ninety nine on Amazon. Um, and they're trying not to spend so much. Hi, Lee. I just got a hi, Marina from Lee. I feel like I'm cheating. Sorry, guys. I'll go back to your questions now. But you know, she's my bestie. So, um, Sydney Wolf, do you think Burgess could be back like a cop? I don't really know what that means, <laughs> but I'm thinking could could I go back downstairs? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Why? What do you know? Oh no. Am I getting fired from intelligence already? Okay, Ben Barnett, will you get back together with Ruzik? This is a very popular question. Patty and I have been fighting for it. I think you'll be excited for episode 414, but I've said too much. I keep saying I've said too much, and then I, I just say it. All right, I'm going to do, like, two more questions. Uh, do you have any uh, – Matt Cain, do you have any off-season projects planned? You'd be great in a Hallmark movie. You know, I wrote a Hallmark movie, like a treatment – and I really want to submit it. So if anyone in Hallmark is watching it, I, it's it stars a young girl who looks much like me, and is um, uh, very funny and uh, lovely. Okay, um, that is all for now. <laughs> what else can I tell you? I'm really excited for you guys to watch Crossover tonight. I don't know if you know, but Severide was a bit of a easy on the eyes. That's all I'm saying. He is on both shows, so tonight and tomorrow. So. Get a double dose of the Severide, and uh, it's a really it's a really good way to come back. It's really strong, and for all you Berzek hopers out there, I feel like I feel like we're we're making good moves. What else? I'm very tired. I just got back from Paris, and I really enjoyed talking with you guys. And I will learn how to scroll <laughs> next time. I promise. You guys are awesome, and I couldn't do this without you. So 